Head unbowed, brave and proud, lo, the ring is fast arriving, driving, 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 like a lightning-laden cloud. Like the lightning-laden cloud, Nazrul arrived to pour new vitality into Bengali literature with his simple but powerful language. We dedicate this film to Bengal's great rebel poet, Kazi Nazrul Islam. Bundhuko ar boli te pari na, boro bish chala ei buke, dekhi a shuni a khepi a gya chhi, tai jaha ashe koi mukhe, rakto chhara te pari na to eka, tai likhe jai rakto lekha, boro kotha, boro bhaab, ashe na to maathai bundhu boro dukhe, amur kabbo tumra likhiyo, bundhu chahara acho shukhe, parwa kori na baachi ba na baachi, jugere hujug kete gele, maathar upore joli chene robi, roye chhe shunar shato chhele, prarthu na karo, जारा के लिखाए ते त्रिश कोटि मुखेर क्रांश चैनो लिखा है अमार रोक तो लिखा है तादेश शर्बनाश नज़रु फिफ्थ सन ऑफ काजी फकीर अहमद एंड जहीदा खातून वाज बोर्न ऑन द 23 ऑफ मई 1899 इन चुरुलिया अ विलेज इन बर्दवान वेस्ट बंगाल At 11, he left his home to join Leto singers, for whom he wrote songs and with whom he sang. How long have you known Kazi Nazrul? Since childhood. We studied together. I knew him as Dukhumiya. The world, of course, hails him as Kazi Nazrul Islam. What sort of a student was he? Brilliant. I was in a class higher than he was. It did not take him long to get a double promotion and catch up with me. Where did he study? Shershul Raj High School. Nazrul was granted a monthly stipend of seven rupees by the local Raja. In 1914, the world was plunged into war. It gave Nazrul a chance of receiving a training in modern warfare, which he hoped to use eventually in the national struggle against the British. After training as a sepoy at Nausera near Peshawar, he was posted to the 49th Bengali Regiment, headquartered in Karachi. Gradually, he rose to the rank of Havaldar. In 1919, when he was in the army, Bongya Musulman Sahitya Patrika published his first poem, Mukti, meaning freedom. He steeped himself in the Persian poetry of Hafiz, which later he rendered into Bengali. This gave a fillip to the ghazal form in Bengali. <laughs> In 1920, when the non-cooperation movement, side by side with the Khilafat movement, swept the whole country like a storm, Nazrul returned to Calcutta. He started editing Navyug, owned by A.K. Fazlul Haq. It became the voice of the nation. After the First World War, the British refused to return captured Turkish territory to the Turks. In protest, a group of Indian Muslims 
was on its way to Afghanistan in self-banishment or hijrat. The Afghan government refused them entry. To stop them, the British army fired on a group of 40 unarmed men, killing most of them. Nasrul wrote a blistering editorial on this massacre. Navyug was banned, its deposit forfeited. Nasrul then started Dhumketu, yet another mouthpiece of the nation. Nasrul represented the Agni Yug, the fiery era, which did not consider any sacrifice too great in the cause of freedom. This era was also intimately connected with the era of Kallol. Kallol was a magazine, monthly magazine, of the avant-garde writers of those days. Kallol, in fact, represented the youth of those days who were dissatisfied with the existing conditions of the country, of society, and they had their say against everything that they didn't like. Kaji Nazrul was not only a leader of the movement which started Kallur, but he was himself a product of the time. Nazrul was the first true rebel poet of this era. His pen spat fire. His first major work, Bidrohi, or Rebel, appeared in the January 1922 issue of Bijoli. Balabir, bala unnato mamoshiri, shiri nehari amari nato shiro ishikhar himatriri. Balabir, bala mohabishir mohakash khadi, chandra shur jagrahutara chadi, bhulok dhulok golok bhediya. Great warrior shout, let your unvanquishable voice ring out. In one triumphant cry of blood and flame, proclaim, my head is held high, very high. No real warrior can ever die. His poetry flowed through him like an unbridled tide. And that tide rose and rose through the voices of millions who rolled into battle like an ocean. Durga Mogiri Kantaro Morudus Taro Parabar, Longhi Te Have Ratri Nishite Jatri Ra Hushiyar. The road is rocky, rough and steep, the desert long and bare. We've got to cross at dead of night. Leader, beware. Does it matter if the dying be Hindus or Muslims? Brother, I only know they are equally victorious sons of one same glorious mother. Oh, farmers of the world, arise and take the whole world by surprise. Nazrul and secularism were one. He wrote with the same pen and the same zeal about both the goddess Kali and Islam. In 1922, his Anand Moir Agumuni was published, a scathing attack on British rule and its lackeys. 
স্বর্গ যে আজ জয় করেছে অত্যাচারী শক্তি চাড়াল দেব শিশুদের মারছে চাবুক বীর যুবাদের দিচ্ছে ফাঁসি ভূভারত আজ কষাই খানা নজরুল ওয়াজ ইমিডিয়েটলি অ্যারেস্টেড এন্ড ট্রাইড ইন ব্যাংকশুল কোর্ট ইন ক্যালকাটা ওয়ে হি সেড আই হ্যাভ বিন অ্যাকিউজ অফ সেডিশন এন্ড রেবেলিয়ন You dub a freedom fighter or rebel. You call truth sedition. Rajar Pakhe, Rajar Nijukto Raja Betan Bhogi Raja Karmachari. Amar Pakhe, Shakul Rajar Raja, Shakul Bichara Kir Bichara, Adi Antakal Dvarishat Jagrata Bhagavan. He was sentenced to a year's imprisonment and locked up in the Hooghly jail. The authorities meted out humiliating treatment to him. Nazrul went on hunger strike in protest. Rebel, revolt, smash each prison bar and bolt, bring them down with a sudden jolt. Rebel, revolt. C.R. Das and others held public meetings to save Nazrul. Tagore sent him a telegram. Give up hunger strike. Our literature claims you. Nazrul's mother came to see him in jail. He declined to meet her for fear she might persuade him to break both his fast and his resolve. She died before his release. Tremendous public pressure made him break his fast of 39 days. Nazrul married Kumari Pramila Sen Gupta on the 24th of April 1924, an intercommunal marriage, symbol of Hindu-Muslim unity, for which he fought all his life. Giribala Devi, Pramila's mother, an orthodox Hindu widow, came to live along with her daughter in the Muslim household of her son-in-law. He wrote with passion and zeal. He lived and moved with the times. His writings had equal impact on intellectuals and the common man. Thus, he could be truly called the people's poet. Presiding over a public reception, jointly organized by Hindu and Muslim literary circles of Calcutta, Mr. Wajid Ali said in his address, You have poured power into us. You have thrilled our souls with vitality. Subhash Chandra Bose said, Nazrul, a rebel to the bone, is easily our only poet of rebellion. We shall march to both prison and war with his songs on our lips. Generous to a fault, he was always in want. Hey Daritro, tumi more kure chumohan, tumi more dani achu khishter shamma. Oh poverty, with glory you have dowered me, with your perpetual presence have empowered me. I hear the humming of sorrow announce the coming of a great holocaust. Sobbing, all is lost, all is lost, all is lost. Aajashuni agamoni gahi che shanayin, o jainu kaandi che shudhu, naayin, kichu naayin, kichu naayin. Lyricist, composer and singer blended into one. He first trained singers in a gramophone company, then stage artists, and then artists of radio and film. Tagore, as a token of appreciation of Nazrul's fiery genius, dedicated his book, Bashanto, to him. To Rabindranath, Nazrul, by way of homage, dedicated Shanchita, a selection of some of his choicest poems. 
a whole nation's grief at the passing away of Tagore found expression in Nazrul's Robi Hara, which his voice renders for us now. Proud in our pride of you, we were immersed, forgetting hunger, poverty and thirst. Yea, we were proud with that enormous pride in which we thought forever to abide. O oh, ever-burning sun, we looked on you as one who would not ever, ever leave our side. In 1939, Promila, his devoted wife, was stricken with paralysis from the waist downwards. In July 1942, Nazrul fell seriously ill. His mind gradually became a blank. No treatment seemed to help. He stopped writing. He lost the power of speech. He could neither recognize nor remember. Jodi ar bashi na baje, ami kobi bolle bolchi ne. Ami apna der bhalo basha pe chilam. Shey othi kare bolchi. Amai apna ra khama kurben. আমি ভুলে যাবেন বিশ্বাস করুন আমি কবি হতে আসিনি আমি নেতা হতে আসিনি আই গেভ দ্য লাভ হুইচ আই হ্যাড কাম টু গিভ বাট আই রিসিভ নো লাভ টু মেক মি লিভ সো লেট মি স্লোলি এন্ড ইন উন্ডেড প্রাইড পাস ইন টু দ্য গ্রেট ওশন লাইক আ টাইড তোমাদের পানে চাহিয়া বন্ধু আর আমি চাহিব না কোলাহল করি সারা দিন মান কারো ধ্যান ভাঙিব না নিশ্চল নিশ্চুপ আপনার মনে পড়িব একাকি গন্ধ বিধুর ধূপ অন দ্য থার্টিয়েথ অফ জুন নাইনটিন সিক্সটি টু নজরুলস ওয়াইফ পাস ওয়ে Kazi Nazrul Islam is more living today than it seems. He will always live in the hearts of millions through his immortal poems and songs. Ashohai jati mori che dubiya jane na shantaran Kandari aji dekhi bo tumar matri mukti pon Hindu na ura muslim Oye jig gashe kun jan Kandari balo dubi che manu shantan mor maar মহাবিদ্রোহ রণক্লান্ত আমি সেই দিন হব শান্ত War weary rebel I, there shall be no rest or peace for me until all cries of suffering cease. 
until from moans and groans all heaven finds release. Chal de chal, chal de chal, chal de chal.